This is a pamphlet from 1885 Montreal, Canada, during the smallpox pandemic, showing the very initial start of anti-vaccine movements by writing sentences like people driven like dumb animals to the shambles tyranny of dr craft you are contaminating the body of your children with rotten fuss of a diseased beast and vaccinations are poisonous these sentences were based on the initial denial towards the method of vaccination which was inoculation at the time in which a needle was dipped into an infected person's pus and then pierced multiple times to a healthy person. 132 years after that, six years prior to today, a video from Pakistan got viral because the woman was saving her child from the immunization or as she likes to call it, the government scam. <laughs> I don't believe that suggesting strongly and coming out with mandates for vaccine is a way of medical and intervention. People have died like herbal. So many don't get it. Okay, so there are two topics to cover. First being how and why these anti-vaccine peoples emerge. Second one being some basic knowledge about immunization and vaccines that everyone in the society has to know. Okay, so long story short, in about 1796 is a smallpox pandemic was just dominating the entire world. Hundreds of millions of people were dead. Then Edward Jenner notices a small mild version of a disease affecting cows and is called cowpox. And the milkmaids who worked with the cows sometimes got the infection but then they'll become immune to the smallpox. Then our Mr. EJ or Edward Jenner decided to infect some neighbors with the cowpox and when they got over it, he injected the smallpox to the same neighbors. And fortunately enough, they showed no signs of the smallpox. And this is how the first vaccine in the history of mankind was invented. He finds a scientific name for cowpox, that's variola vaccinia, in which vaca is Latin for cows and he calls this procedure vaccination. And then after worldwide vaccination, in 1980, WHO declared a complete eradication of smallpox worldwide. But simultaneously, there was a rise in population of the people that did not want to get vaccine and they were either under aware about the situation or get manipulated by the religious leader saying that the vaccination is against the god's plan and the smallpox isn't any infectious disease but the punishment of their sins and vaccination was also opposed by the traditional inoculators since the new ways of vaccination affected the inoculation business but at the philosophical and psychological level these are some basic reason for not taking the vaccine so this is timmy and as we can see he is already saying no to the vaccine so at the very basic level the driving force for timmy is fear one aspect of that could be pain like fear of needle fear of suffering and another aspect could be fear of unknown which is just caused by lack of awareness and also at the end everything boils down towards lack of awareness but if we have to understand a little more then there are three main reasons of vaccination fear. Number one being anti-government impulses. The Pakistani lady from the beginning falls into this category. Number two, religious overtone. The religious people from 1800s falls into this category. And number three, anti-science suspicions. And every group including our Timmy falls into this category since all have lack of awareness. Whereas number one and number two are mostly connected to fulfill their own political agenda. And anti-science suspicions are just the byproduct of lack of some basic education about immunization. And that's why now we'll convert our Timmy's anti-vaccine mind to an educated person or vaccine mind. And if your attention span has dropped like Amber Hart's career, then here is a cute video of an animal. Show everyone your underbite. 
Okay, first of all, vaccine is a substance used to stimulate and provide immunity against one or several diseases prepared from causative agent of a disease without inducing the disease. And immunization is a system of providing immunity through vaccines. So, in 1974, WHO launched EPI or Expanded Program on Immunization. Under this, till date, there are seven injectable and two orally administrable vaccines. In injectables, we have BCG, DPT, PCV, JE, FIPB, MR, and TD, which will prevent diseases like tuberculosis, diphtheria, pertussis, tetanus, hepatitis B, hemophilus influenza B, pneumonia, Japanese encephalitis, measles, rubella, tetanus diphtheria, diarrhea, and polio in which BCG is the first vaccine to be given to the infants at birth and measles is the last one at the 15 months. Now, I'd like to give a disclaimer because national immunization schedule will vary according to the countries. So, by these nine vaccinations, our Timmy will be protected from 13 deadly diseases. Okay, now you might think, why isn't the smallpox there in the vaccine list? Because we have completely eradicated smallpox from the entire world. Not a living sample would be found out there in the world today except from USA's and Russia's laboratories for research purposes. Let's hope, let's hope that it would not get leaked and then mutated and then used as the bioweapon of mass destruction. Let's just hope for the best because we will never know what's going on their brain. But if you want to know about the effects of video games on a brain of a small child or adult, this video right there will do it for you and I'll see you guys next week.